YouTube. Uh, it's the first, first video I've done in the new the new office. Actually sat talking to you. Obviously I did a walkthrough that you probably saw a couple of days ago if you subscribed to the channel. But I uh, thought I wanted to do a video about the ASUS AC9868U router. I've got a couple of these routers and I had done a really long video or several videos that when linked together were really long around how good they were, how they worked and so on and so forth. And I've just been sat watching it back and to be honest it's just me waffling on about various different setups and what I've used and what's worked for me. The, the basics of it, of why I ended up buying a replacement router is the quite simply for anyone more than a user with an iPad, a PC, and a phone, so sort of three devices. Anyone that's got any more than that that's using the Virgin Media Super Hub 3 will have problems with it. That's my experience. Even before I started adding all the new smart light bulbs and the other bits that I put in the house this year. The Super Hub just didn't cope. It gave very poor range of the wireless, and um, when you went onto the the interface, uh, the web interface, into you know, the one nine two one six eight address, half the time it wouldn't show you what your devices were that that were connected. If it did show you, it didn't always give you the name of them. Just quite a poor experience, but it it worked. So. I left it when I just sort of had my phone, my wife's phone, my iPad, my MacBook. It wasn't too much of a problem. And although my desktop PCs have wireless, they're both on a hardwired network, so rarely, rarely use that. So I didn't really bother doing anything with it. But as soon as I started adding smart lights, smart thermostat, this, that, and the other, and all these other devices, the Google Homes, the the Bose speakers. The more I added, the more I just had frustration after frustration after frustration that I could not see what the IP address of the device was because the Virgin Mirror would say you've got no nothing connected despite there being 30 or 40 devices in the house. Just a pain in the arse. Unfortunately, you can't just take their router out of the equation. Because it's a fiber optic network, you have to use that router to use their service. And because it's their network, you can't say, well, I'll go and get it from a different provider like you can on, on ADSL. So you're kind of stuck with that router. Now, the trade-off of having to put up with that is that they provide speeds that kick the arse out of anyone else in the country. I'm getting 220 meg down and 12 up. The upload speed's a bit crap, which takes a while when I'm uploading videos to YouTube and stuff. But the download speeds are ridiculous and with the amount of streaming my wife does, the amount of stuff that gaming I do online and downloading things, I want that speed. So you compromise and have to put it with their router. The good thing is though, you can switch that router from being a router into just being a modem, which is what I've done. So I've then added a an ASUS AC68U router into the system. And again, I've bought a Zeus because I like a Zeus. My PCs are all a Zeus motherboards, a Zeus graphics cards in one of them. I like their products, so that's what I went with. Had one that was failed that I had to get returned, upgraded to, from the 66 to the 68 model, and it's been fine. I say fine to the extent that it's worked that well, I've ended up buying a second one. Now, a Zeus have recently bought something out called AI Mesh Networking. You may have seen this with the Google Home Wi-Fi, they've, uh, not Google Home Wi-Fi, sorry, Google Wi-Fi. They've brought out their own range of wireless, whole house wireless systems, as have BT. Well, Asus have got in on the action with this as well, where basically you can take a wireless router, and instead of that being a the one router in the house, you can have a second one, which acts similarly to a repeater but much better than a repeater. And you do not know when you switch from the main router, the, the, the primary router, to what they're calling the node. It's seamless, it just work, it works really well. So 
I thought, well, it got good reviews from what I'd looked at. I'd give it a whirl. So I've gone and bought a second router, AC68U router, and installed that. And after going through a bit of a faff to update to the latest firmware, because it didn't ship with the latest firmware, and it needed that latest firmware because this is a new feature that Azusa just enabled. Once I've got the new firmware on there, it was relatively straightforward to get it to connect as, as the node. A couple of mistakes I made, I bought it upstairs to then try and connect it to the node and it needed to be by the, by the original router. Once it had done that, I could then bring it upstairs and plug it into one of my ethernet leads so it's a wired connection. Worked flawlessly. What that uncovered though was when I started looking in the web interface, one of my ethernet cables had failed. So when I moved into this house, I had someone come round, one of my friends from CCTV East Midlands, come round and network the house as a wired network. So the router is in the, at the front of the house in the living room and my office is at the back of the house on the opposite side of the house. So I had him run an ethernet cable up the side of the house from the primary router into the attic which went into a switch which then fed another ethernet which came to the main pc worked fine mistake we made was we didn't use shielded cable so after 18 months something had deteriorated and it wasn't until i put this router in and did some speed tests that suddenly found that instead of my network being a one gigabit network that port had dropped to 100 megabits that port was feeding the entirety of the upstairs of the house on anything that was was on ethernet so i needed to replace that so i've had that that replaced but i've actually done it slightly differently instead of just having the one cable i've, I've had two now run up from the router downstairs in shielded cable into the attic the reason i've had two is i've had one that then goes into the switch like the original wire did but then I've had one that goes straight from the router downstairs into up into the attic and across and down into the office and then into the ASUS wireless node. Um, well, it is a wireless node. So that it's getting full speed from the router downstairs, which is then plugged into the cable modem. I'm now getting the full speed back. I'm getting 220 meg down, 12 meg up, and it's back showing as a one gigabit network. What's happened as a result of that tonight is that I thought, well, I'll speed test the mobile, see if the mobile phone is any different. And on the 5 gigahertz network, it's sat in my office, which is right near to the router, the, or the node, the second router. I'm getting 145 megabits per second. I've never got quicker than that on the, on the wireless anyway. Um, but when that cable was knackered, when it was only giving me 100 megabits per second rather than 1 gigabit, um, I was only getting 85. So it's a big increase there. Not that I need that speed on, on, a, on a mobile, but it'll be handy when I'm doing any editing on the MacBook and stuff like that. So that's, that's good to know that that's all sorted. So really, for a review, ASUS AC68U router, really good, really good router. Get the latest firmware on it, not a problem. The only slight problem I have is when I go into the web interface, it shows me as having 60 odd devices on there. If I click to view those devices, half of them then drop off the screen and take a while to come back onto the screen but they don't actually lose internet connectivity so I'm not really sure what's what's happening with that but either way it's it's working as it as it should um, but yeah get get the latest firmware on it and it's great and it, it really is a good way of doing it never had to look at doing anything like this at the old house because my old house was a smaller property and it was built differently so all the internal walls in my old house apart from one were stud walls. The new house has got brick walls left, right and centre, which has meant that trying to get a wireless signal from the front of it to the back of it isn't going to work. Now I've added this second router in, the lights in the garden have got a stronger signal, the, the lights in the conservatory are picking up from this second router rather than the one that's at the front of the house, that's getting a better signal. The kitchen lights are coming up through the floor to the second room. So it's just distributing that Wi-Fi signal more efficiently and more effectively. And as you move around the house, it can switch between devices. So really pleased with it. So if you are finding that you've got problems with your, with your internet service provider's router, 
and you can't change it because a lot of them do lock you to have their router I highly recommend the ASUS AC68U RT router which is, is what I've got working really well I'm not going to put any screenshots of things up because my editing skills aren't good enough to take out the IP address and for obvious reasons I don't want to share, share that with you but there are a lot of reviews of this router online a lot of reviews of the AI mesh network that for me I've just found has worked really well in, in that I'm now getting full wireless outside in the garden because the office is at the back of the house and the router is quite near the, the window to the garden I was sat out in the, one of the dry days that we've had um, and I was able to to get you know pretty much full Wi-Fi signal at the back of the garden granted I don't have a particularly large garden but before I added this second router once you've gone outside the house you won't get any Wi-Fi at all so th that that gives it a good boost I've still got the TP link repeater that I did have I don't know if I posted the review of that I think I've done it in the walkthrough but I took it out of the system because everything was showing up as wired and I, I wasn't getting great speeds because it only had a 100 megabit ethernet port on it I didn't really like the fact that it went through power line adapters because although they work they're meant to take power not internet so it's a bottleneck it's a compromise so yeah I've took I've got that if I need it but it's in a sat in a cupboard and I'll probably sell it on but uh, the the best way of doing it I think is doing it the way I've done it with proper cat6 cabling shielded cabling this time with an AI mesh network system there are more and more of them coming onto the market so BT are doing one Google have done one obviously uh, Azus have got this one out so you've got plenty of options available as to how you do it when you're doing anything like this just think carefully about trying to boost a wireless signal with a wireless device because from what I can see the way the BT home system works as well as the Google is that you sort of place the second router where when the signal's starting to get weak and I don't know I just kind of look at that and go it's a bit like in the old olden days olden days a bit like taping a taping a tape you, you're repeating something rebroadcasting something that has deteriorated to such a point you're at the edge of that signal strength so whilst it's a pain in the arse to have to run ethernet cables and get ladders out and cable clip to the house and you know pay people to come and do stuff like that ultimately if it's that important to you that you're getting really good internet service across the entirety of your house that's the way you've got to do it and that's that's what I've done you know it's cost me 270 quid in, in two routers but I'm now getting the speeds that I wanted across the house with the TP link repeaters I wasn't getting the speeds upstairs it was just a compromise now both my PCs are seeing full um, full wireless signal so if for whatever reason the Ethernet port stopped working as did on the old uh, the old PC previously you've at least got a fallback to go to the Wi-Fi if you need it and it's getting great speeds on it so the ASUS AC68U router fantastic if you've got a larger property you need to repeat the signal get another one of those and use it as a wireless node there are some other models that you can you can do this with and I think there'll be more models getting added to the list I think the plan is from ASUS that if you go out and upgrade your main router in the future that's not then going to mean that the old router you had gets thrown in the bin that's what they're kind of promoting it as but I think it's a great idea great system worked really well for, for, for me in my experience so yeah try that see how you get on um, and let me know let me know if you've got any problems setting it up I'll try and uh, talk you through it because it was a bit of a faff but uh, once it's done well worth the effort I think just that guys and uh, yeah let me know what other stuff you want me to review like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't let me know if you didn't why what what you want to see me doing differently subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this hoping to start adding some more bits um, shortly paid for the holiday now so hopefully I can start start adding some more bits the chair I'm sat in now will be getting a review at some point because that's newly arrived and obviously the video is up of the office desk and, and the chair but I'll do a review on the chair I'm trying to think the other things I've got of reviews that are set to come to the channel there will be more stuff coming all the time 
I'm actually going to do a video tomorrow with the grumpy golfer again. He's going to come around and film, and I'm going to do a tear down of my main PC because having set it up on the new desk, I'm quite disgusted with how dusty it is inside. Didn't realise how bad it was. It's been sat on the floor for the last year probably of, of being in the current office probably no probably longer actually probably two years of being in this house it's been sat on the floor i've noticed it's got a bit noisy and you know that tends to be what happens when you get a lot of dust build up on the fans and i didn't think that i didn't notice it being noisy before but i guess that was because it was on the on the floor but this the case that i've got the fantex m3 lux has got a 200mm fan at the front, it's then got a big fan on the CPU cooler and a fan at the back of the case. So I'm going to clear all of that out and hopefully see the noise level drop on that a bit. And if I don't, I think I'm going to be looking at possibly changing the, uh, the big ass cooler that I've got on the CPU, going to water cooling and changing the case fans as well. And if I do, obviously I'll, I'll review that as well. That's it for now guys, I'll uh, get that next video up and, and uh, speak to you all soon. If you want to see anything else, let me know.